I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a western screech owl. I take two fingers in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw towards the left, curve line down, go back to the dot, towards the right, curve line down, and leave it floating. I come back up here on the left and I'm just going to draw a wavy line up, curve line, wavy line down, connect. I come over on the right and I draw a curve line up, curve line, wavy, wavy line, down, and connect. I come inside, put a dot on the left, and we're going to draw a wavy, wavy line down, wavy line up, connect. Come on the right hand side, put a dot. We're going to draw a wavy, wavy line up, down, in, up, and connect. Right underneath, we draw a big curve line up, down, connect. Jump over to the right, big curve line down, up, connect. Inside, one baby circle on the left, one baby circle on the right. I'm going to color these in right now with my black so I can see a little bit better what I am doing. I come over here on the left and I draw a wavy, wavy line down, up, over, connect on the left. On the right hand side, wavy line down, over, up, connect. Right here in the center, I draw a little curved line, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect, dot, dot on the inside. I come over here on the left, let's put a dot, and I'm going to draw a big curve line up, wavy line down, down, out, and leave it floating. Come back over here to the dot, wavy line down, curve line, connect. Now I come over here on the right, and I'm going to draw a big curve line down, over, up, connect. And on this side again, on the right, I draw another curve line down, up, connect. I come all the way down to the bottom, and I draw a straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, up, connect. And right next to it, straight line. Curve line down, up, connect. Inside this space, curve line, curve line, curve line, leave it floating. Curve line, curve line, curve line, leave it floating. Curve line, curve line, leave it floating. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take my yellow and color this space on the left and this space on the right. Then I'm going to come in with orange and I'm going to lightly color this space in the center. Now we are going to be doing a lot of double coloring and this is the first example. I take my gray and I lightly color over the orange to bring it down a little bit in color. Then, with my gray, I come inside and go up, down, up, down, up, down on the inner circles, I mean the outer circles of these spaces on the left and the right. I'm going to put some gray, up, down, up, down, a little bit of gray, all the way down, lightly do some loop-de-loop -loop grace. Now what I'm doing is I'm setting up my colors. Now I always forget something. 
I forgot here to do curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. There we go. Now I can come back in and lightly loop de loop these spaces. And what I'm doing is I'm putting down that first on the right. I'm putting down that first coat of color, our base color, that we can now accentuate with our other colors. However, this down here at the bottom, I'm going to color pretty dark. This space and this space dark gray. All right. Next, I'm going to take my brown. Doesn't matter what color brown. But I'm going to come in and I'm going to color in my detail on top on the left on this space. Jump over. This should be brown up here on this space. Now I'm going to use my brown just to accentuate wavy line, curve lines, and give my overall up, down, up, down. Now I'm not coloring it solid. I'm just adding some brown and I'm kind of following the lines that I've already drawn with my black. So I'm coming back in and I'm accentuating these already. Come up and do your space on the right. Come up here, do your space on the left. Okay. Now, I'm going to come back in with my gray again, and I'm just going to add some dark gray lines. Again, to accentuate what we've already drawn. You don't do the whole thing all over again. You just come in and do a little bit of here and there. Okay? Alright. Last thing I'm going to do, because these owls are found in the forest areas, I'm going to take my green and just fill in the background with some green. All the way across. Try not to draw through your drawing. Okay. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my Western Screech Owl, all colored in. These live to be about 13 years old, and they eat small mammals. So watch out if you're a mouse or maybe even a rabbit. Okay, bye-bye.